We all use cloud services like Google Drive, iCloud, among others, which are awesome. But when we need more storage, prices become exaggerated and prohibitive. So the best solution that I'm aware of is to use our personal cloud at home or on our organization. Now today I've got here one knap solution and on this particular video I'm going to share three different topics. One of which is how easy it is to use one of these personal clouds and how to integrate with our phone so that we can have all the pictures, all the videos that we take all synchronized with one of these along with our documents and so on and so forth. Then we are going to a bit deeper and check out the new features of the operating system from KinApp, which is KTS 5.1. And lastly, we are going to take a look at this unit in particular, which is the TS 410. That being said, I will leave some timestamps down below so that you can go fast forward and rewind the way that you want. That being said, let's start with it. To be able to automatically upload our pictures from our phones, not only me, if I want to give access to my family members, I can also do that and we will have all the pictures shared right over here across all our mobile phones. It's easy, we just need to install the QMagi application and then log in. Simply activate the automatic uploads and all the photos and videos taken with our cell phones will end up here on our NAS. In this particular case, the Kinap TS410e, but you can choose other models. I will leave a link down below so that you can check out. There are more advanced models and more basic models, so depending on your needs. Now in the app we will be able to manage the photos as if we were inside our Google Photos app or even iCloud, but we have total control and no storage limits. The app is really cool. We can choose favorite photos, create albums and so on. So a great experience and you just need to try it out and you'll see how easy it is to use this particular function. Now we can also use it to store our documents and we will use in this particular case the Keyfile Pro app where we can save whatever documents we want and organize them, for example, in folders, either using our phone or using our computer as if it was a normal pen drive or external disk. But in this particular case, we will be uploading the files to our NAS. Now we will be able to edit them also on the phone or on our computer. And in addition to having no limits, all the documents will be safeguarded in a place that you can control and not anywhere that we don't know cloud services out there. This is the basic usage of a personal cloud such as this one right over here. Really easy, just plug it in, set it up and there we go. But if we want to go a little bit further, I can check out what is going on with my personal cloud. I just need to install the app called Q Manager, which will give me information about the disks, what percentage of CPU and RAM is being used, what bandwidth is being used, and the available disk space of the different volumes. If we want more details, such as individual temperature of each disk, the CPU, we also have these options among many others for managing our cloud unit. But this is something that it's optional. If you are a geek like myself, then yes, we will be able to do this. But if you don't want, you just need to worry about taking your pictures and that is it because the unit will work itself out everything automatically. Now let's go a bit deeper and take a look at the new features of the KTS 5.1, which is the latest generation of the operating system inside every KeyNap unit. They improved performance, security and management. And I'm going to share with you five of the most relevant features. And the first one is SMB multi-channel. And this is a kind of technology that will take advantage of the Ethernet connections that we will have on a unit. So in this particular case, we have two 2.5 gig Ethernet connections right over here, which will give us the double of the speed without having any requirements in terms of hardware. I just need to activate SMB multi-channel. I need a switch that has enough bandwidth and basically that is it. Now I did some speed tests and approximately 250 megabytes per second 
only with one Ethernet connection. But after connecting both and activating the multi-channel SMB, we quickly go to almost double of the speed without any requirements. In this particular case, 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes. And if you get a unit with four ports, Theoretically, you will be able to get 1200 megabytes per second reads and on writes without having nothing special, just the SMB multi channel, which is awesome. Second feature is the two factor out authenticator which there was available in the past through the Google or Microsoft app but at this moment is 100% targeted at Knapp units. Now we just need to use the Knapp authenticator app. We will be able to have a lot more security but we will also have situations that will make our lives a lot easier like the beginning of session without passwords and all we need to do is to have our cell phone with us. The third feature that caught my attention is the delegate administration. Now, if you are aware of NAS units on the market, you know that there are two kinds of users to control these units, the administration and the user. This one has all the rights and this one almost none. Knapp did a thing that I believe that should have been done a lot of time ago, but I'm happy to see it right now, which is to give us the freedom to give to a different user different permissions. So I can have about eight functions that I can assign to my family members or my employees if the NASH is in an organization. And I can, for example, give access to manage applications. I can give access to the system or not just for monitoring user and group management among others and i can choose which one to assign to a particular user and this is great that simplifies the life of the person that manages the unit so i can decide to give for example to one single user all the privileges with the exception of the top tier which is the system administration so we will be able to create new users new groups and so on and so forth able to monitor i can give to a certain user a hey, you just need to monitor and create folders and that is it so there is a lot of combinations that we can do and this is just awesome the fourth feature is the automatic disk replacement which is really awesome now if there are any errors detected on one of the disks the NASH will automatically move the data from the affected disk to a spare disk before that data is completely affected which means that the reconstruction process will be not necessary so it will save us days or weeks depending on the amount of data. There is also the DA Drive Analyzer app, which will now analyze and predict better the possible risks of data loss. And the fifth improvement is the file station. Now it has some improvements that we don't see graphically, but the search function is just awesome. Really quickly, at this moment, we can search on the old unit, the file that we want. And just imagine that you have thousands of files and if you want to find one, you just need to write the name and there we go. And now that we have seen the operating system and the basic usage, and probably at this moment of the video, there are only geeks like myself, we are going to take a look at the hardware. Now the TS410E comes in a package with all the necessary accessories to connect to our network. In terms of design, it's really cool, all metal body to help cool down the component so it will act like a dissipator. The interface on the front will have the LEDs with the indication of disk operation and network activity. On the back, we will have connections for the two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, four USB 3.2 10 gigabit and one HDMI up to 4K at 30 hertz. Now it has a quad core CPU with eight gigabytes of RAM non-expandable. And to place the disks, we just need to open the front panel, remove the four 2.5 inch disk base, and we can use HDDs or SSDs. I did use two Kingston samples that already came in the units, and I also added one 2 terabyte S3 Plus and one 2 terabyte Toshiba. And the configuration of the disks, depending on the usage that we are going to use, 
we can choose several raid modes with redundancy or individual modes. In this particular case, we have two discs in raid one, which are the Kingston, and then we have two individual discs. Now, besides the unit, which is really awesome, but there are some models available, as I said in the beginning, so link will be down below. There is one thing that it's favorite to me. Besides being able to use it like my personal cloud for my pictures, for my documents, and all the features that we have seen, we can also install apps like our personal server at home or on our organization. And for that, we just need to access the App Center app where we will have dozens of applications that we can just press a button and install and we will be able to take full advantage of the hardware among the best known you will find Plex server wordpress own clowns and others and we can also choose applications to be installed that we will have access through the hdmi output so we can connect to a monitor or tv and work on documents research or entertainment giving it a different kind of usage but if you feel that these apps are not enough there's also the container station which will give us the freedom to use docker applications so we will have our access to docker hub and in that particular case the thousands of apps that are available there will be able to be installed now i can install through my computer any computer on my network or outside my network and i can also use any of my phones connected to install those apps it's just a press of a button and basically that is it taking full advantage of not only a personal cloud unit but our own server more details more questions don't forget to leave down below and i will answer as best and as fast as i can hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one